and welcome to my new YouTube channel, Diespired, where I am a 41-year-old woman trying to find my own personal style. I named the channel Diespired because I'm very much inspired by Princess Diana. The reason being that you look at a photograph of her and her outfits that she's wearing, you know, she could be in a room with you today and she would look timeless and elegant and she would look, you know, not on trend, but she would look like she belonged in this time period. And I want to have a style in a wardrobe that is also timeless like that. And so she is my style inspiration, hence the name of the channel. Now, if you want to come along on this journey with me, please subscribe. I'm hoping to learn a lot about fashion and accessories and things like that. So this first video, I'm going to start with an accessory. This is the Guibert Allure bag. And I apologize if my pronunciation was horrible. Spanish pronunciation, I'm really good at, but French, never had any French lessons. So I am just really excited to open this bag. I first saw it on the channel, Alice in Paris. That is one of my favorite channels to watch for inspiration, style tips, and accessory tips. She does a really great job with that stuff. And so I'm like, to get this bag it's under $500 um, so it's not in the it's not in the like luxury luxury level but it's not like an inexpensive bag either it's somewhere in the middle look at this so I've got a letter Mrs. Hernandez let's see what this says oh wow Dear Madam, please find and close your order for which I thank you. I hope that discovering our know-how and our materials will encourage you to more free and with us to the world of our house that is not what that says i'm not sure what it says should you have any questions or need additional information i will be happy to help you are sincerely matilda so that is very very cool that they did a handwritten letter um check that out so i love that that's such a nice touch for a bag like this and there was a little bit of a wait um, i ordered the bag in november and i just got it in january oh nice so you bear leather saddlery and leather goods so there's information there about the leather each of our leather goods creations is meant to live go with you and embellish itself over time in order pre to preserve the beauty of your leather products we recommend that you note the following advice take care not to scratch or rub protect from humidity protect from liquid hand cream antiseptics makeup and perfume if it comes into water dry it far from direct heat so that's cool, um, that, that's a really nice touch. I really like the touch of the handwritten letter. That is just such a special, um, that's a really special thing. Like that's something I'll save to go along with the bag. And now we have the box. I'm very happy about this. Very, very excited. Let me get it out of here. So here is the box and it's got a ribbon. Um, on the corners it's kind of falling off but you can see the ribbon here has the the name on it i'm nor i'm used to unboxing on a table so this is a little bit different for me those of you who came over from mpd you'll know what i'm talking about so there's the ribbon and it's got um, the logo there and the name which i think is really nice a beautiful chocolatey ribbon with um, this creamy colored screen printing on it so now this is a very sturdy box a great box for your accessories and different things like i won't keep the bag in the box but i guarantee you i'll find something to put in the box so that's really cool and we have in the box tissue paper so there's the tissue and it's got a sticker there very nice i love this i'm just this is one of those things i like i kind of bought it on a whim i'll say and I just wanted to, you know, treat myself a little bit, and I'm really excited to be opening it. I was telling one of my coworkers about this bag yesterday. She's like, I can't wait till next week to see it because, you know, we're working from home um, the rest of the week. But look at that. So there's the bag, or the dust bag. And now I'm going to pull. Wow. I love this. So I'm going to change my lighting just a little bit because I think I'd set it up incorrectly look at that gorgeous hardware on that bag i love that it's gold oh man mm. i love the smell of that it smells wonderful so this is a magnetic closure so you can see here and i'm going to go ahead and remove the stickers 
from the magnetic closure so that they were probably put in place there to keep it from scratching but I'm planning to use her today I'm going to meet a friend for lunch and we're actually going to the Cheesecake Factory. I haven't been to the Cheesecake Factory in years and years and years, so I'm excited about that. Um, and then I'm going birthday shopping for another friend of mine. Um, so look at that. The leather feels great. It's like soft and beautiful. I'm looking at the stitching around and it looks really good. I think it's really a beautiful, beautiful bag. And it's about the right size for me. I'm not a big bag person. It's funny because I was talking to someone the other day. She said, I don't know how you do such small bags. I like like a medium sized bag because I don't carry a lot of stuff with me. What really sold me on this bag though is this back pocket. So on their website they show, and I don't have my phone out here with me, but they show, I'm gonna use my box opener to show you. You can slip your phone into the back pocket. That is so convenient for me because you can just reach in there. You don't have to leave the purse open. You can just reach in there and grab your bag when you want it. Okay, so we've got a strap here that is adjustable, very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that together. I'm gonna put it on a the tightest setting, setting, is that the right um, terminology for this? I'm gonna put it on the tightest notch there or hole just because I am a shorter person oh no so that is that's like shoulder bag length I want it to be more crossbody so if I'm gonna do crossbody I'm gonna want to bring it out um, a little bit so let me bring it out and if you're new to my channel and you've never um, you know, watch any of my other videos. I am a bit of a talker, so I'm sorry about that. I know some people don't like the talk. I have another YouTube channel, and um, some people just don't like the talking. They actually have comments. You should talk less. So if you don't like the talking, I'm probably not the channel for you. Sorry, because I talk a lot. Some people were born with a lot to say. I'm one of those people. You know, what can I, what can I say? Okay, there we go. There's the perfect crossbody length. I love that. That's gorgeous. That is really, really gorgeous. And so inside, I'm going to take out the tissue here. Oh, this is beautiful. Inside, you can see here's, and this is going to be hard to see because it is darker, but there is a, there's a back pocket there and then the rest is just nice and wide open. So that's gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. There's something down in the corner here. Oh look, so there's a little piece of leather that's hole punched out of the, I don't know how to get this to show, but it's like a piece of the hole punched leather from the strap. That's interesting. Um, and I know, like I said, these were, they were back ordered. I had written them a message because it had said they were going to ship in, um, in November and so I wrote them a note and said I thought this was going to ship at the end of November and they said because of unprecedented demand um, they were behind and they were being manufactured and it would be sent out in January so but I was okay with that because it was not a, a gift for Christmas it was a gift for myself so patience is a virtue anyway there's the bag I love her I really do I'm gonna take her out today like I said and really test her out and see how I really like her um, but I'm really really excited so far like I think she looks great I like the way she feels in my hands I like the way she sit, sits here the only thing I'm worried about the strap is really thin and I, I do like a wide strap for my crossbody but I have the Diana clutch from Ferragamo and it's got the chain and that chain really digs like it's not comfortable to wear for long periods of time. So I'm hoping this will be comfortable to wear um, for a day of shopping. I'm back from the afternoon of shopping. It's actually the next day and I thought I would report back on what I thought of the bag. Comfort wise, it's very comfortable. The strap is not too thin. It doesn't like dig into my shoulders um, like a chain strap would. And I really did like, you know, I like where it sits after I adjusted. This is adjustable, of course, but I adjusted it to be on my hip. My microphone's kind of in the way, but um, really like that. A couple things I didn't like about it. So this clasp, the magnet is not really all that strong. So like I would find myself walking 
and it would be kind of askew and it wouldn't be latched anymore. So I think the magnet could be just a little bit stronger um, to keep it locked in place. Part of that may be that I have it too overstuffed. So let me show you what I have inside. I have my keys inside. I have my Strathberry um, wallet inside that has all my stuff. So maybe I just don't need to carry my full wallet. Maybe just like a card case. And then I have my, um, I actually have an Hermes Bastia in there. And I keep my migraine um, pills in here because they cost more than anything in this house pretty much. It's Nurtec ODT. If you have migraines, it's a miracle drug, let me tell you that. And then I have um, like my concealer and I had a little thing of Vaseline in there. I don't know where that's at right now. Um, I must've took it out and used it because I, I like Vaseline for dry hands, dry lips, dry skin. I just really like to use it like very basic, but I, I very much like it. Um, so th that could be part of why the latch kept coming askew is because of that, but it just doesn't like it doesn't catch very well. So you have to kind of look at it and latch it. There we go. And then in the back, I had my, I did have my phone in the back. Here's my receipt from Tiffany's. I bought a gift for a friend there yesterday. But so in the back, I had all that. And you could just kind of see it is kind of, it does kind of bulge out, but it held everything. The leather's really soft. Um, and I got caught in the rain. It, got, it did get wet. I did not dry it off immediately. And it looks fine. Like I think it's in, it does that. The only, the real only complaint I have is that this latch is just not the magnet's not all that well there it caught that time but like I found it so many times like askew or not latched and I just wish it was a little bit like stronger um I forgot to mention in the video earlier why I even purchased this purse and how it kind of goes along with the finding my style thing I'm trying to purchase like buy it for life items so items that are going to last me the rest of my life and I have previously, I had like three handbags that I carried before. So what I'm doing is I'm really interested in handbags. So I'm buying a few handbags and I have the collecting mentality, right? I'm kind of a collector of other things. And so it's like a friend of mine once said, collector's going to collect, right? And it's like, yeah, I don't want to be like a full blown handbag collector, but I'd like to have a cool bag in a different color, like a few different bags in different colors. So I did not have a black bag. And I really like this one. I like, um, supposedly they use the same leather as Hermes. I'm not sure about that. Um, Cause I did, I was like, you know, I can't, I don't have a lot of Hermes experience. I only have this. Um, and this is, you know, probably not even the same type of leather, but it is really nice. I do, I do like it a lot. And I do feel like it's very high quality and it is going to last me a lifetime. So that is kind of like, what this whole thing um, of, of me trying to find my style is about is finding timeless pieces that I can use. Like I hope to be able to use this for the rest of my life if that magnet clasp doesn't drive me nuts. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts below. I'll link to the bag below so you can pick one up if you want it. They have in a lot of colors, um, even with the latch thing. I'm not, I don't regret buying it. Like I am going to carry it today. I'm going to brunch today with a friend. And so I am going to carry it to brunch today. And I do like, I like the way, I love the way it looks actually. And I like the way, like it kind of, you know, I'm five feet tall, so I'm kind of short. Again, this is adjustable, but I like the way it kind of fits like right in my hand like this. So I can kind of do a quick like security check, you know, if you're walking through and I love, like I told y'all, it sold me on that pouch in the back for my phone because I'm so used to putting my phone in my back pocket um, or in my cardigan pocket so I really like having that on the bag anyway guys again thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this and we'll see you in the next one bye bye